Alright, so I am going to go to do some leveling up. Yesterday, uh, I fell through the world. What do you think about BFA so far? I love it, man. I mean, the graphics look amazing. The artwork that went into it is amazing also. Like, just look at this town right here. Uh, maybe we should go to Dustvar. Let's go to Falvarin Dustvar. Let's go over there. Look how big this city is. I mean, I'm not getting that many frames here, but I, I plan on, before the expansion comes out, I plan on getting a Beast PC. Just the fastest processor I can find. That's four core. I don't want six core. I don't want eight core. It has to be four cores. And it's only going to be for gaming. That way I can get the highest possible frame rates, and then I'm going to feed it into this computer with a 4K capture card, and I can get, uh, and I can broadcast like that. What's the best thing you like about BFA so far? I kind of like the stat squish. It's good. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the patch notes where they just go through all the changes, the balancing. That's what I want to see. I want to I wanna look at the rogues and be like, ha! Get wrecked, son! You guys knew you were overpowered. Take those nerfs, mother flower. Hey guys, hold on, I gotta, I gotta get a coffee. Ah, I just brewed this coffee and it's gonna keep me up all night. Let's, let's have an all night gaming session of, of World of Warcraft. I wanna get at least one tune to 120. Is there still PvP talents? Uh, okay, this is, the, what, this is what the talents look like right now. You can actually opt to get PvP talents and you can enable PvP or disable it. If you enable PvP, you get the PvP talents and you can use them in, in the world. You can't use them in dungeons, but they do work in the world. So to level up, you can still use them, which is quite interesting. So you can use all your PvP talents as long as you have this button, War Mode Enabled. Is grinding AP still going to be a thing? I don't know. And see, that's, see, that's, a, that's something that um, I'm wondering myself. Because here's the thing. I want to level up more than one tune, but I don't know if I should. Legion was the first expansion where I was able to make more than one tune. Level off all tunes quite easily and get gear quite easily too. So I have a warrior, a paladin, or um, I have a, a frosty K, a hunter, a warrior, a red paladin. My goal was to level all four of them at the same time and then actually progress. Look, see, small Azerite shard. This is what you get for your artifact. And it goes to boop, it, go, it automatically gets applied. We work so hard on artifact weapon, I know. I mean, but we did enjoy it during the expansion. Artifact weapons are going bye-bye, boys. Can you have two pets in BFA without artifact? Yes, uh, it's a talent. Right now I have a talent, which is Animal Companion, and you're gonna have a second pet. The second pet doesn't do uh, your pet abilities, it only, but it does do um, Kill Command. It does, that's the only ability that it does, Kill Command. But it, I guess it just does the regular attacks. It's okay, it, I think having multiple pets confuses people. Okay, how do I get back up there? I need to get back up there. All right, it's parkour time. No, 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 no. You know what, we find a road. The best way to get from point A to point B is to find the road. Uh-oh, Blizzard. Blizzard, 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 there is a there's a hole in the in the world. Okay, there's another cave entrance. Dude, I think all the cave entrances have problems, dude. You don't want to fall through that. You like I've fallen through. It disconnects you a couple times, but then you res like at a graveyard that's super far away. <laughs> blizzard! Poor little kid, he's he's tied up to the like a, a he, he was gonna get eaten. That creature was about to start a fire. What are you guys doing over there? They don't want to cross the gap. Well, there's my pet anyway. Pets, come to me right now. My pets are trapped. They don't want to jump across. Oh my God, it's a rare. Ah, it's a demon. Dude, look at this. Look at Betsy. She's won prizes. <laughs> wow. She's won prizes. First and second place and has a ribbon. She's a demon. This is the demon pig. Wow. Look, even the other pig. Look, she's got a ribbon on this side and she's got two more ribbons on this side. Okay, that was cool. Tame it? I could have tamed Betsy? No, you, wait, can you tame Betsy? Okay, we're gonna come back and get Betsy. BM hunters can tame exotic animals. All right. It'd be kind of cool. I kind of like right now my, my Spirit Beast pet. I like the healing is pretty insane. So leveling up with the Spirit Beast is going to be really good. Dude, you know what I miss? Farming Fade Leaf from graveyards and then selling them on the auction house to rogues who buy them up to make their poisons. Do Those of you who play rogues, do you remember having to farm Fade Leaf or buy it off the auction house? Wait, why are you not attacking? Offense! Assist, damn it. Oh, I had him on passive. Is that a lock? 120? Let's get him. Let's Let's drop, a, let's drop a trap right here, blast him off the cliff. We blast him, we interrupt him, and we blow him up. And that's how we beat a 120 and we're only 112. That silly, silly lock that was 120 
He came here to gank us. <laughs> and instead he got wrecked. The lock right now is planning his attack. Right now he's like, I'm level 120. Those guys are only level 112. I should be able to take them out myself. If I catch them off guard and surprise them. So he, right now he's planning his, his comeback, his epic comeback. It has to be when we're not looking out for him. So right now he's like, they're too aware that I might be coming back. So he's going to maybe res behind a tree and then run around the whole mountain and come in from behind. Level 113, now he stands zero chance. Where's this lock, man? Dude, look at that, look at, okay. I need you guys to understand this. I need you to look at this and like, who designed the all these buildings for this expansion? Like, look how incredible this thing looks, man. Look at the artwork here, man. I mean, the artwork for this expansion, for Battle for Azeroth is amazing. I'm blown away by all the art and all the, and all the uh, paisaje, I mean the scenery and the mountains and everything, the, the amount of work that went into it is incredible. Darren! Oh! One twenty! Woo! One twenty warrior down! <laughs> the lock's back! Let's knock him back. Uh oh. Woo! Excelente. Dude, 1v1 a warrior. He got wrecked. Just goes to show you how warriors are doing in 1v1s right now. Why do you think I'm playing my hunter and not my warrior right now? And I didn't even have my cooldowns. Dude, I did not even have my cooldowns. He charged in after I had used. Like a disengage, I didn't have a disengage when he when he engaged. And if you didn't know how rogues look in BF8, incredible dude. Rogues are actually probably one of the strongest classes right now. They can take me, like on my prop warrior in defensive stance, they can take me to half health in an opener. If I play Arms or Fury, they can take me down almost to almost to execute range in an opener. Uh what spec rogue? Any spec, doesn't matter. Other than rogue, what else is best? Um Feral Druids are their bleeds are a little bit too strong. Because all they have to do is bleed you, and then they do a root on you that doesn't break on damage, and then you die in the root. Where you going, warrior? Oh. Where you going, warrior? Warrior! Oh, the lock! Holy moly! Ah, oh, the lock got me, finally. All right, he got his payback, he got his payback. But it took two level 120 characters to take me down. Fain, I did feign, but I still died. The, 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 the lock had me loaded up with dots, man. He, he jumped in at the precise moment, right when I was done with the duel, with the fight with the, with the warrior. And I also pulled a lot of aggro, too. Can't 2v1 hunter dead class. Hey, I'm level 113. Both the warrior and the lock were level 120. They have three times my health, each of them. The warrior jump. They're grouped up. Man, you guys are are awesome. All right, the lock has 94,000 health. The warrior has 64,000 health. I have 34,000 health. Oh, come on, man, really? He's like, yeah. All right, he ran away. Damn it, I pulled the whole world, man. The warrior is mad. Yeah, he's a little angry. I'm getting distracted with PvP. But that's the reason why, you know, in PvP you get more XP. You get 15% more XP. Man, I'm gonna aggro everything going back in there. All right, there's a rare here. The rares give good Azerite power, so we're gonna do some rares. Uh, uh oh, no, no. We're gonna kill a rare here. Uh oh, tagged? Aw, oh, you just killed it. Aw, oh, Quillen Matriarch. Quillen Matriarch. Oh, there he is, there he is. There's the Quillen Matriarch. Oh, look, see, you get the Azer. Ooh, and I got, a, I got an upgrade. Oh, 234. 234, 234, 234. Yes, that is an upgrade. All right, little by little, we're getting upgrades, and then this is how you upgrade your gear. Um, level three, increase the item level of this item by five. All right, we got level three on this breastplate. The breastplate's 280, so it's really good. Little by little, we're getting upgrades, so I think gear does matter a little bit, especially in world PvP, I'm not sure. Okay, look, I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait back around, I'll use hand to brag to us. Okay, look, you see it? No, Chinglish, not the hand of brag. We have to win this. 
No, 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 Chiglis. Put away the hand of rag. Get a, a, a regular piece of gear. Okay, I got my angler's fishing 